Hi, welcome to our channel Good News. Today, I am pleased to introduce a new topic, American blockades on Chinese Huawei's 5G and 6G development. Why is the United States obstructing Chinese Huawei's 5G and 6G development? The United States accounted for 35.2% of all 6G patent applications. What about China's position? So let us begin with the evolution of global telecommunications. The speed has been improved from 4 kilobits per second to 20 kilobits per second. We are somewhat familiar with 3G technology. In the 3G era, we can not only access the web on cell phones, but also do movie downloads and photo sharing, among other things. That is also the age of smartphones, the 3G era. Different mobile phone manufacturers have steadily developed their unique styles. For example, in the 3G era, the familiar Apple and Android are steadily polished, and the maximum speed of 3G has also been considerably enhanced to 2 megabits per second. In 2013, 4G infiltrated our daily lives. 4G 4G transmission efficiency has substantially increased, allowing customers to access more high-quality and high-capacity information while also enabling video conferencing, game services, cloud computing, and other services. In 2013, 4G infiltrated our daily lives. 4G 4G transmission efficiency has substantially increased, allowing customers to access more high-quality and high-capacity information while also delivering video conferencing, game services, cloud computing, and other technologies. 4G's qualities also give a platform for video content, and video has become people's new entertainment outlets, with short films, live broadcasts, and other material considerably enriching people's lives. However, as technology advances, users have a greater desire for network transmission speed, whether autonomous or not. 4G cannot support more high-definition video resource downloads. The 5G network has emerged at this time. 5G not only enables quicker data transfer, but it also reduces latency to the millisecond level, allowing it to satisfy mobile internet requirements at the same time. It has also implemented the concept of the Internet of Everything. With the widespread adoption of 5G, not only has it effectively accelerated the development of the Internet of Things and the industrial Internet, but more exciting apps will emerge in the future, providing consumers with a new mobile experience. Despite the fact that 6G is still in development, the essential standards have a broad foundation. In terms of the most clearly perceptible speed, 6G will grow from 5G's 10 gigabits per second to 1000 gigabits per second. In the meanwhile, it will considerably increase positioning accuracy. When the indoor inaccuracy is less than 10 centimeters, the launch of 5G has resulted in faster transmission speeds as well as a push for the sector to attain intelligence and digitalization. However, current 5G has not yet attained worldwide coverage, and achieving this aim is a significant undertaking. It is going to hit 6G. The terahertz frequency band will be used for transmission in 6G, which will not only considerably enhance performance but also greatly improve stability. The United States, Japan, the United Kingdom, France, and Canada are primarily responsible for the 1G standard dominance conflict. When it comes to 2G, the United States, Europe, and Japan have taken the lead. When 3G becomes available, China will join the ranks of China, the United States, and Europe. By the time of 4G, China and Europe were the sole challengers for standard supremacy. This condition persisted till 5G. In 2019, Huawei captured the world's attention by holding the ideal 5G technology to go to battle against the World Mobile Conference. 15% of all patents Huawei has earned the rightful title of 5G leader. It features amazing technologies at reasonable pricing. Many governments have placed orders with Huawei. Huawei signed more than 45G contracts in a short period of time. However, Huawei's success has piqued the interest of European and American governments. Huawei has become a thorn in the side for the United States. The US has threatened its friends and called on everyone to boycott Huawei. On security grounds, they first boycotted Huawei's 5G equipment and subsequently banned the sale of Huawei mobile phones nationwide. Because the United States is the leader, the younger brother is obligated to follow suit. 
Although the United Kingdom has previously swayed, it has ultimately decided to remove all Huawei acceptable equipment in the nation, but this is clearly not a wise option, and it will face tens of billions of dollars in damages. It will also greatly hinder the pace of 5G construction in the United Kingdom. A number of US restrictions have been claimed to have seriously hampered Huawei's worldwide 5G strategy. Not only that, but the US has placed Huawei on the US entity list and barred TSMC from becoming Huawei. The creation of high-end semiconductors has not only hampered Huawei's 5G development, but also its existence. The United States is particularly focused on Huawei because of the enormous stakes involved in 5G. However, regardless of how the US suppresses it, Huawei's 5G technological leadership is an established reality that cannot be reversed and the US's present efforts cannot be used to slow down Huawei's development speed and offer more time to the development of domestic firms. The American concept is straightforward and audacious. Since 5G failed, it is preferable to devote all of their efforts to the research and development of the next generation of 6G technology, but the United States did not anticipate that it would not be the only country interested in developing 6G technology. In reality, Countries all around the world have adopted 6G far sooner than we anticipated. It had already begun before we adopted 5G. This is particularly true for Huawei. Huawei, as a local communications sector leader, has embraced 6G early. Technology has begun to investigate. Let's take a look at how nations are now performing in 6G. Let us begin with the United States. The United States is the world's sole superpower. The background is extensive, and there is a significant advantage in the 6G satellite frequency and satellite orbit. It is safe to say that the advantages in the aerospace area will be of significant assistance to the United States in the development of 6G. Let's go on to Japan after the United States. Although China's total strength has long surpassed that of Japan, Japan's strength should not be underestimated. Japan has paid more than 60 billion yuan for the development of 6G, a portion of which has gone to professional R&D institutes and a portion to certain private firms and even individuals. They can acquire financing as long as they encourage the development of 6G in Japan. It is clear that interest for 6G remains high among the old power. China is still unconcerned about the issue. China has defied foreign pressure by focusing on 6G research and development. Japan just released a collection of statistics. The report indicates the percentage of each nation and area that uses 6G core technology. The United States accounts for 35.2% of Japan's ratio, 9.9% of Japan's ratio, and 40.3% of China's ratio. China cannot accomplish such good outcomes without the efforts of domestic firms, particularly major private enterprises like Huawei and ZTE. Of course, participation of the national team is also required. It is being done by both the state grid and the aerospace group. The development of 6G technology has made its own contribution. China will also launch a 6G Experimental Satellite Electronic Science and Technology University in November 2020. Sensors and other situations from science fiction will almost certainly be reality. While China has the most 6G patents, we must also be careful of European and American countries. Similarly, while we have acquired benefits in 5G technology, we are also envious. The US goes to great lengths to repress us, while European countries have a grudge against us because we shattered their monopoly and stopped them from profiting by charging patent fees. As a result, when the US took the lead in repressing Huawei, Europe was highly helpful as well, but they did not anticipate Huawei to be so difficult. I wasn't expecting China to be so obstinate. Every amount of hard effort is rewarded with a little bit. We charged me the patent fees that we had been collecting for several years. It's time to start collecting fees. In terms of 6G patents, China has achieved good achievements in the first place, and if we continue to work gradually and consistently, we may be the leader in the 6G industry and replace Europe and the United States monopolies in one fell swoop. The US has already plotted to join forces with South Korea to form two foes in one. We are all aware that South Korea continues to have two brushes in semiconductor and other industries. 
However, even though U.S.-South Korean collaboration remains China's opponent, South Korean patents account for just 4.2% of total patents, and the two nations together do not have as many as China. It remains to be known who will lead the globe in 6G in the future, but regardless of who the opponent is, they all want to be able to win through fair and honest methods, and make some minor efforts behind the scenes, even if they ultimately accomplish successes, they will be laughed at and graciously laughed at. By the end of this movie, we will understand the global telecommunications history and why America is blocking Chinese Huawei's 5G and 6G development. Simultaneously, we see the consistent strength of Chinese technological giant Huawei's 5G and 6G deployment. Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.